The interlined model diagram for the light path compresses many complicated things into a simple triple mind model that is easily remembered and conceptualized. I like to call it the intermind model to emphasize the central role that the intermind plays. I think the intermind is but yet another thing that we do not know, but yet we know we need it. It is probably counterintuitive, but I think the introduction of this new unknown might actually help us understand the other unknowns in the whole mind problem. We need to at least know what it is that we don't know. People will say the intermind model is not parsimonious, or they will invoke Occam's razor as arguments against it. The parsimony and Occam's razor are not scientific principles. Rather, they are more like folk science. Also, the intermind model is not a theory, but rather it is a framework for future theories. I believe the intermind model framework will be a blueprint for the next step in the exploration of consciousness. I would like to introduce the term connectism to identify a new philosophical concept that easily and naturally conforms to the intermind mind model. Consciousness Connectism provides a refreshing connection perspective With respect to conscious experience With proper usage You would say that you are a connectist Because of your connectist views on connectism Connectism seems to be similar to dualism But it is different from dualism Because the dualist does not emphasize The connection aspect of the physical mind To the conscious mind The intermind is the central connecting component Letting connectism the physical the physical mind is connected to the intermind, and the intermind is connected to the conscious mind. So connectism is actually a triple mind perspective in contrast with the double mind perspective of dualism. The intermind looms large when in connectism, but it's completely absent in dualism. Connectism is categorically not the same thing as dualism. The intermind could be a part of the physical mind, or the conscious mind, or it could stand alone as a separate mind. Whatever the case may be, there must be something somewhere that has the functionality of the intermind. If the intermind is found to be an aspect of the physical mind, then an aspect should be called the intermind aspect of the physical mind. Philosophers will say the intermind is just the explanatory gap. I would say that the intermind is more specifically a connection gap and a processing gap rather than a more general explanatory gap.